All right, guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. My name's Kermit, and behind me is a 1929 Ford Model A. You hear Greg say it all the time, this is my favorite car in the shop, and it's always just some ridiculous hot rod. Well, this is my favorite car in the shop. This thing is virtually untouched. It has very minuscule modifications, if any at all, and, I mean, it drives awesome. We're going to take you through a detailed inspection of the exterior of the car. We're going to take you for a drive in it, start the motor up, let you listen to the engine. We're going to put it up on the hoist. We're going to give you all the technical ends of ins and outs of uh, all the uh, mechanics of the car. So, let's get started. All right, guys, starting on the front of this Model A, you can see it's got the original style radiator in the thing, and it doesn't ever look like it's even had a bug in it. It, it looks great. Um, looking at the, it's got the original glass and the, and the headlights here. Um, I would like to point out this car has been 12 volt converted, though, so it may not be the original 6 volt bulbs in it. Um, the headlights are actually very bright on this car, so you don't have to worry about um, people, you know, not being able to see you or you not being able to see, because to be perfectly frank, the original 6 volt uh, system on this car, the headlights didn't really illuminate so much as they just were kind of almost like an amber bulb and like a, like a, uh, a turn signal or something like that. That's about as bright as they got. But uh, this has had that one upgrade, or one of two upgrades done to it. Um, I'd also like to point out the other upgrade, which you can see on the bottom here, is a bump steer um, shock absorber on the front end of it here. So you, when you hit a bump on one wheel and not the other, it doesn't uh, jerk the wheel out of your hands like these old timers were kind of notorious for doing. Other than that, though, it's pretty darn stock. Um, you can see the chrome on the front of it is absolutely beautiful on the thing. Paint in really good shape for the age of the car. It probably has been repainted at one point, but um, I mean, as you can see, it's it's still pretty uh, original esque, as you can see. You can see all the louvers and the hood, really good shape on it. You can see the motor peeking out inside there, and there's that uh, alternator that the car now has. You can see it in through there, but we'll get to that in just a second. Wheels on the thing, absolutely beautiful. It's got the original, original style bias ply tires on it, Bedford tires. Doors open right up, just as they should. That easy. Running boards looking good. The rubber's all not, not all destroyed and cut up. Rear wheels still looking good on the thing. The back of it, paint's not too shabby. We got the original style of brake light on the thing, and it does actually say stop when this thing is illuminated, which is really cool. License brake bracket. You do have the, uh, one of the original spare tires on it, or if not the original, uh, replaced uh, of some time ago. It looks to be of an original type spare tire on the thing. Lift up the trunk for you. You can see in there. No rust that I can really see. I mean, there's, it's not all rotted out like you. I mean, this thing, you got to think, is 100 years old almost, and it, it's just darn nice in there. Even the back of the seat doesn't look like it's uh, ever had a mouse nest in it or anything like that. <clears throat> Coming around to this side of the car, the paint's still looking pretty good. It's got a couple little bruises here and there, but nothing too bad. You got to think, like I've said, the thing's almost a hundred years old. You got to step up on the, st the running board here to see the top of it, but the top is in really, really good shape on this thing. All, you know, all the vinyl is still intact on it, you know, of the soft tops. Getting down, you can see it's got the visor on it and all that, and that's all in still really good shape. Both doors open up just fine. Close just fine. Fenders haven't looked like they've ever been repaired or, you know, hit a cow or something like that, you know, back in the old dusty days on the old dirt roads. And this thing is in remarkably good shape for the year. Paint all through here, not looking too bad. You got a couple little scratches here and here, you know. Right around here you got a little bit, but not, not too bad. Well, I guess that's about it for the exterior. Let's take a look at the interior. Uh, you can see the door panels are in this thing are in just an excellent shape. You know, they're not ripped or torn or anything like that. Uh, there really is no um, rust underneath the door simply because the door is only about that big. So there's really nothing under there that you uh, would scare any would scare anybody. All of the wind lace is uh, still here. 
You can see here the rubber mat and the floor is in good shape. You got the wood floorboard on these things. That's factory. It's the way they were. Steering wheel, original steering wheel is still there. Um, for those of which you don't know, and you'll see me driving the car, this is uh, your spark advanced, this is retarded, this is uh, advanced, and this is your uh, throttle right here. You do have a gas pedal on the floor as well, but this is uh, you know, idle, and this is you know, speed. Um, I guess it's really a, an antique version of cruise control because you can actually just set that thing and take your foot off the gas and just relax. Uh, outside of that, like I said, the mat looks like it's in good shape. All the pedals and all the, the starter button down there, none of that's like torn out of the floor or anything like that. The seat upholstery is really nice on this thing. This has more than likely been redone, especially looking at the back seat, or the back of the back seat here, or the back of the uh, backrest, I should say, is in really good shape. So I would, uh, would not surprise me if this has been redone at some point, and it's been done, uh, redone well, I should say. Headliner in the car is really, really nice, all in the back here. The interior on this thing is, is actually exceptionally nice. We'll go to the other side. You can see this side, every bit as nice as the driver's side. Doesn't look like it's ever been kicked or anything like that. Uh, this little mark there is just where the seat touches it when you close the doors, all that is. Underside of the door is in real good shape, same as the driver's side. Got your straps here, that's your, you know, to make sure the door doesn't open up too far and uh, crash into the fender. Simplicity at its best. Uh, amperage gauge, uh, I'm sorry, speedometer, and um, your gas gauge here. Ignition, and then this is actually a little dash light that I'll actually turn on and illuminate your speedometer at night. Um, the floorboard in this thing on this side, you know, no rot, same, just wood floor, just the way they came from the factory. This here's a mixture knob, this is choke when you pull it out. It's all factory stuff with these things, and there's a gas shutoff underneath the dash, just like it was a uh, factory. This is actually the gas tank on this thing, is actually the dashboard itself. And that's all factory stuff with it. And on the uh, column here, this here's your lights, factory, and then there's your horn button. Just as they were made from Ford. Alright, now that you've had a quick look at the car, if you want to go straight to our website and check out about 180 other cars, hit the top button. If you'd like to watch an About Us video, hit the middle button. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bottom button. Now let's get back out there and check out that car. All right, guys, going for a ride in the 1929 Model A. Thing shifts just fine, runs pretty darn well. This is full, uh, full retarded timing, and once we get up to speed here, I'm actually gonna advance it up just a little bit for road driving. And you can kind of feel the motor kind of pick up a little bit once you do that. I absolutely love these old things. They're just not, there's nothing to them. They're extremely simple, extremely easy to fix. You know, and if, if once you get the hang of it, they're really easy to drive too, and they're a lot of fun. A lot more fun than any car that you're going to go and buy at the dealership nowadays. Uh, this thing, I mean, really, for a, a straight axle 28, 29, it actually doesn't do all that bad. Uh, of course, like I said, it's got the bump, uh, the bump shock on it, so you know, bumps and things like that don't really mess with the, your driving all that much. The brakes feel really good in this thing. Coming to a stop here. First gear. Now these old transmissions don't have synchronizers in them, so you do have to double clutch or just time the shift like that right there. Third gear, a little bit less timing, make it up this hill. Uh, these things got a top speed of right around 60, you could do about 50 or 45, 50 in them without really abusing them too badly. Um, from the, from uh, I think the original, I think they made about 40 horsepower, if I'm not mistaken. And they're pretty cool little cars. And you know, they've been around for a hundred years. They're kind of like cockroaches. You really can't kill the things. Just a really good design. And, and the aftermarket, let's see if I can get that downshift. Got it. So you got to double clutch for your downshifts too, because once again, transmission is non-synchronized. Back on up to speed here. Well, here at Vanguard Motor Sales, if you'd like to take a look at this little A model or any of our other 180 cars in inventory, just make sure to give Tom a call. 
Drive that downshift one more time. Look at that. It doesn't take much to get used to it. You can actually get where you can drive this thing just about like you can any other kind of car. But like I was saying, if you'd like to take a look at this car or any, other, any of our other 180 cars, be sure to give Tom a call. Make sure we got it in stock before you come out. Uh, and when you do come out, uh, we're at 15100 Kill Street in Plymouth, Michigan, pretty close to the Motor City. And that's about it, guys. Just pick one out you like and come, come see it. Come drive it. We'll take you for a ride. We'll take the inspector for a ride. Brake's working really good. Now, no turn signals on this, so technically you're supposed to signal. I'd drive one of these to work every day if I could. Doesn't shift too bad. Horn works. <laughs> it's just impossible to not smile on one of these things. We're probably doing about, I don't know, 35 or so right through here. Ain't taxing it too hard. And we're coming back to the shop now. Brakes work really good. Nice high brake pedal, which means they got them adjusted properly. Bouncing on up in here. Try to get my downshift. There it is. And we're going to throw this thing up on the hoist for you guys and uh, give you all the specs on the motor, rear end. Well, I guess torque tube rear end on this thing. Whole nine yards to look at the motor. Talk about this thing actually has factory heat on it too, and we're going to show you that in just a second. It does work. I tried it this morning. Yeah, that's about it. Stay tuned. All right, guys, this is the underside of our 1929 A model Ford. Um, we got it up on the rack, and you can see that the frame is in really good shape on this thing, and also that all the undercarriage um, panels and everything, I mean, there's not even pitting on them. They're absolutely beautiful. I mean, you can, you can see the ground and, like, the reflection of this thing. It's really, really nice. Um, you can see it's uh, held up by a leaf spring here. We do have the original style shocks on this car. These are the old serviceable style shocks. Very cool that it maintains all of its originality. You can see most of the original wiring is intact. Um, of course, stock suspension on this car. It's uh, stock torque tube style axle. Uh, these are mechanical drum brakes on this thing, and they're driven by these here linkages. Very easy to adjust. You know, anyone can do it with a pair of simple pliers. You know what I mean? It's very, very simple. We have been through these brakes. They're absolutely great on this car. It stops very, very well. Um, Moving forward, you can see the floor pans continue to look great all the way up through here. The frame looks absolutely beautiful. It doesn't look like it's ever been, you know, bent, jacked on or anything like that. It's really, really nice, and it's kind of surprising to me that this car, being as old as it is, is in this good of shape. Um, this here, the factory, uh, or the factory style, I should say, Model A exhaust with the, with the big conical style muffler, you know, uh, everything looks to be original for the car, you know, correct for the car, I guess I should say. Um, all of the wood here uh, for where the frame connects to the body, all that looks like it's in good shape. Parking brake is functional in this car. It is hooked up, obviously. There, right there it is. Um, here's our little transmission. This is a three-speed transmission, as you saw in the video. It is a non-synchronized transmission, as you saw in the video. And, I mean, it's about the size of a lunchbox. The thing can't weigh more than 20 pounds or something like that, 20, 30 pounds. It's really, really cool. Uh, moving forward, you can see that we've got, here's our, like, the, the bell housing clutch assembly area right here. Very, very nice on this thing. You know, obviously the clutch has never exploded and, you know, cracked the uh, casing on it. Uh, you can see here we got an oil pan here, pretty drip-free. Uh, looks like it's got a nice paint job on it as well. Looks like it has a fresh oil pan gasket on it too, which explains why there's so little drippage or leakage from the underside. And as I mentioned at the top of the video, we have this shock absorber here. This shock absorber is to eliminate as much of the bump steer as possible uh, that these old Model A's and these straight axle cars were kind of notorious for. In the front, you can see we've still got uh, straight axle, as I just mentioned. Leaf spring is uh, what suspends it. We do have our original style divorce shocks that are up here, the old style refillable, serviceable shocks up here. Uh, still got our mechanical linkage brakes here, uh, the drum brakes, of course, and we've been through these just like we have in the backs. It just absolutely beautiful on this thing. At this point, we're going to take a look at wheels and tires, and then I'll show you the little four-cylinder under the hood. All right, guys, up here we've got 440 uh, by 450, or four, I should say 4.40 by 4.50, uh, 21. 21 would be the size of this uh, Model A style, just smoke rim. Just nothing, nothing uh, interesting about that. It's all just factory stuff with the factory lug nuts, factory hub, or uh, I guess you would call this grease cap. 
Uh, you can see up here underneath the fenders on this thing, absolutely beautiful on it. It doesn't even look like things ever been hit, you know, ever hit a puddle. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll check out the rear. All right, back here we got 4.40 by 4.50, 21, same tire. Um, and if I didn't mention up front, these are bias ply tires, which, which this car should have. Uh, Bedford brand, and uh, just completely stock, just as this car should be. You can you can feel up in here. There's no rust, no like it's really not very pitted or anything of that nature. I mean, this is just a really nice car. It's one heck of a survivor. And uh, let's check out the underhood. All right, guys, underneath the hood of this little A model, uh, I, you heard me mention that it does has had a uh, 12 volt conversion on this thing. And as you can see here, it does have the uh, little alternator on this thing. Uh, I believe it to be like a one wire, one wire style alternator on it, so very, very reliable. Uh, big old belt there. Um, also, 12 volt conversion, which means you have a more updated style of coil on the thing. Um, and this is all just factory Model A stuff outside of that. I mean, it's pretty, pretty original. And then you can see here, here's your new uh, oil pan gasket that you can see right there. It hasn't been painted over or anything of that. These are all your linkages for your spark advance, and this is your linkage for your throttle advance or your throttle uh, set. Uh, this here is your starter, and I guess right here would be like the fuse for all of your electrical system and all that, all that good stuff. It looks like an updated fan on the thing. Um, it's like a plastic style fan, so a little bit lighter weight than the other one, but it will move more air, so you've got the, that added benefit. Um, outside of that, we're going to go to the other side of the hood here real quick. And we're going to show you that this thing actually has, as I would mentioned, the factory heater option on this car. Okay, guys, on this side, as I would mentioned, you have the factory heater here, and this is really cool. Air actually comes through this right here, and it's heated up by the exhaust manifold, which is basically what this is. And, of course, exhaust gases are not pumped into the car. However, the heat from the exhaust manifold is actually what heats the air that goes into the car, and it'll actually roast you out of this thing. It's it works very, very well. Um, outside of that, here's your little uh, distributor on the thing. Uh, gas filter looks nice and clean. Fuel lines, and here is your Zenith one-barrel carburetor, just as this thing should be. Uh, choke, choke off, and it, that's also a mixture knob inside the car. Exhaust up here still looking pretty fresh. Engine looks like it's in really good shape. You know, not, no really leaks to speak of on the thing. It's very, very nice. So that about sums it up. It's just a really nice little original A model. And if you'd like this little time capsule parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park your dreams in your driveway. All right, we've made it really easy for you. Click on any one of these five pictures here and it'll take you right to whatever you're interested in. We're gonna give you about 30 seconds here to click these pictures. If you need more time, just go back in the video and click that picture.